are watching Acid Free TV. Digital design tips and tutorials. Hiya, and welcome to the first episode of Acid Free TV. This is going to be a vidcast that's going to um, show you guys some tips and tricks for Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator to make your lives a little easier. So I'm going to get started with the first tip, which is going to be how to create a gradient mask in Adobe Illustrator. And I chose this one to start with because it was helpful to me in my package design days and uh, it's something that's not totally obvious when you were trying to find out how to do it in Illustrator. So um, it took a lot of forum searching and, and whatnot to figure it out. So I'm going to um, show you guys that because it's a useful tool to use in your everyday designing. So I'm going to get started. Oh, and uh, the, um, the example I'm going to use is a fake CD cover for a David Byrne bootleg recorded at Bonnaroo 2009. So let's get started. Um, first we need to get an image to place on our CD cover here. So we go to file and then place and direct your mouse to where you store your image. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, uh, here we go. Okay, and it's David Byrne with his lovely dance troupe. I'm going to go ahead and scale this down to size a little better. I'm going to leave a little bit of bleed that we're going to fix later after we get our second image placed. Okay, so we have our image placed over our CD template just a quick box that I made just for this example and um, uh, next thing we need to do is to make a gradient mask over this so that it blends in with the background so first step in that is to go to your options over here click on transparency and show options and then you see this box here where it shows a little Im mini image of your workspace and you click on the empty space next to it, um, double click actually, on the space next to it, and go to the toolbar, select the rectangle tool, and now we draw a rectangle where we want our gradient to be. And uh, the next step would be to, draw, to actually add the gradient to the rectangle. And you want to make sure that you have a black to white gradient. So you have to change the colors of each one unless it's defaulted to black and white. So there's black and white gradient. And then select the gradient tool from your toolbar or hit G and draw the gradient in the direction that you want it to go. Oop, I don't want it to be a radial. Change it to linear. And now I'll draw the, the direction. Okay. That blends in with the background pretty nicely. So I'm going to back out of the Opacity Mask Editor. To do that, click on the Transparency options again, and see where you have these two boxes. Click on the Image box again. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and go through the process one more time by adding another image. So, go to File, Place, select the image that you want, scale it down, Okay, that'll be a good size. Okay, again, we double click in the transparency options in the little empty space. Go to your tools, select the rectangle. Now we draw a rectangle where we want the gradient to be. Okay, and you uh, select the gradient tool with G on the keyboard and draw your gradient. 
make sure you draw it in the right direction. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's nice blending there. And now I'm going to back out of the gradient editing by clicking on transparency and clicking on my image again. And now I just want to make a mask uh, over these two images so that they fit on the temp template. So I'm going to select the blue background template that I made and hit Control C to copy or Option C on a Mac, Control F to paste in front. Move it to the top of your two images and select all three. And then hit Control 7 or Option 7 on a Mac, and it makes a perfect flush mask around your images. Okay, um, one last thing I want to do is to add a title, so I'm just going to do that quickly. And type in David Byrne. Sorry, you can't type. Microphone's in my way. David Burn. Okay. Enlarge that a bit. And I'm going to just make it an orange color so that we have a complementary color scheme going on here, sort of. Alright, and live at Bonaloo. 2009. I was at that show. It was amazing. Probably one of the highlights of Bonnaroo. And uh, if you're not familiar with David Byrne and Talking Heads, you probably should be. You should uh, look them up right now. <laughs>